All right, guys. Well, it is early morning, and these were requested several months ago, and then I got another request. I said, let me get these made. That is self-rising flour, and we got heavy creamer. This is a two-ingredient biscuit. Yes, you heard me. A two-ingredient biscuit. I've been doing this biscuit for years. My granddad shared this with me, and you can find a lot of different recipes on this. I also make shortcake breads with strawberry, strawberries and pineapples with this, but I add some other little concoctions to make it a sweeter um, bread. You're only going to need a cup of self-rising flour and you're going to need a half of cup of heavy whipping cream. That is it. Yes, very, very simple. And this dough is going to be kind of like a dry dough. It's not going to be very sticky, but I promise you don't add anything. Do not add anything. I promise. Just stick with it. So we're going to heat our stove up to 450 and you're going to cook these for 12 minutes guys so 12 minutes remember 12 minutes so now we're going to get to kneading this dough with our hands and getting everything all incorporated into one big ball guys i do not have a biscuit cutter so don't judge me i'm going to use a mug <laughs> when i make my biscuits it is early i'm trying to get these done before he get back from dropping the kids off at school and because he requested these biscuits i said you know what let me record it the perfect timing even though it's early so it may not be bright because i was not getting no lights and stuff out this early in the morning so you want them to be about a half of inch thick and this usually makes about four biscuits if i'm doing them right and not rushing but your girl's rushing because i want to get back in the bed so yeah that's my three biscuits that are half inch thick and then we have the ugly biscuit we always got the ugly biscuit so we're gonna throw these on a uh, pizza pan a little pizza pan with parchment paper i always do that to protect my um, pans a little bit longer and then it is time to throw them in the oven guys i had a little snafu you know got a little kinky wear on for the hubby so i had to kind of clip it because i showed a little too much putting them biscuits in <laughs> so yeah guys after they are done at 450 you remember they're gonna stand for 12 minutes i got my little eggs going right there and it's time to take these biscuits out of the oven guys and let's see what they look like all right now biscuits do y'all see those yes i know they look a little ugly but i promise you they do not taste ugly i promise and so let me grab these sausage out i just patted these sausage up and i threw them in the oven i like cooking like that if i don't want to get all that grease on my stove my eggs are going so let's make these breakfast sandwiches i want to show you how tender these bad boys are these bad boys are so freaking tender tell me they don't look like a kfc biscuit in the inside or a pot pies biscuit guys Y'all can make these. I make these breakfast sandwiches as well. I'm going to do a video on these and I freeze these for the kids. Yes, yeah, so they could take them out and put them in the microwave. Your own sandwiches. He also wanted a biscuit with some strawberry jam and butter on it. I also put a little piece of Harvard's cheese on that biscuit, the sausage biscuit. So guys, this is it. So plain, so simple. If you try them, make sure you let your girl know because I promise you this will be your go-to biscuit. I just want to show you how tender these are. Think about some honey and some butter on these oh my gosh let me go eat i will talk to you guys in the next video thumbs up and share this video and i'll see you later guys i hope my revivors enjoyed this video and if you did i hope you thumbs up and guess what guys this is where your girl is on social media but before you go check out these great videos i have lined up